The whole purpose of the false shuffle is for the cheaters to be able to record a group of cards, then follow it through the shuffle, which is the dealer will false shuffle, and then when they reappear to use that knowledge to beat the casino. Now, what, what we're going to do here in a second is we're going to look at the uh, series of cards that I'm going to deal out of the shoe, and we're going to believe that the, ch the cheaters are sitting on the table recording the cards. After they record the cards, and we're going to analyze them, and then we're going to see what they look like when they come back and play, and see if you can figure out who wins and who loses. There are three steps to the false shuffle scam. For this demonstration, we're going to record a sequence of cards known as a slug. In the interest of time, we'll only record three rounds of play, but keep in mind, a slug of cards could contain between 50 and 70 cards, about 8 to 12 rounds of play. In the game of Baccarat, the dealer discards the cards in an order predetermined by the procedures of the game. As the cards are discarded, we'll put the sequence of cards up on the screen. Similar to how a cheat will record the results on a game results card given to him by most casinos. Other intricate measures have been reportedly used to record this type of information, like using cell phones or even concealed cameras. Step two is the false shuffle. As you can see from an overhead camera, it can be difficult to detect a dealer implementing a false shuffle. However, from a different angle, all is not what it seems. To demonstrate the move more clearly, we have marked the edge of the cards. There are two important things to note about a false shuffle scam. Number one, the dealer in collusion with the players only has to be present at the table to implement the false shuffle. Number two, usually the player who cuts the card is involved in the scam so that they can make sure that the slug is not interrupted. Okay, so now we have a slug of cards that will remain in the same sequence for the next shoe. What we don't know is when is that slug going to appear. Cheats look for key cards to indicate the start of the sequence. In this round of the play, we can see that the sequence of cards out of the shoe match the start of the slug sequence. The next round can accurately be predicted, and a false shuffle team will bet the maximum on all spots on the table. Depending on the size of the slug, the cheaters can predict the outcome of each round until the end of the slug sequence. You people at Casino Operations, what is your floor supervisor doing during the shuffle of Baccarat game? Paperwork? No. What he should be doing is watching the shuffle. If you have your floor supervisor watching the shuffle, it's the cheapest and best game protection you can have. Okay, surveillance guys, when it comes to monitoring Baccarat and it comes shuffle time, don't switch that dial. The best way to watch a shuffle effectively is not with the overhead camera, but to zoom in with a pan tilt zoom. Put it on your side monitor. If you can get picture in picture, do it that way. But that's the most effective way you're going to be able to see what's going on. Point on shuffle machines. Shuffle machines are great game protection assets. But don't be lulled in complacency. In the past, dealers have completely avoided the shuffle machine. They take the cards out of the discard rack and put it back in a shoe. They don't even bother to put it in the machine. Be sure the cards go in the machine. Shuffle machines are great, but here's a word of warning. If you do use shuffle machines in your casino, make sure you have a manual shuffle procedure for all your staff on the floor and in surveillance, and that they know it. Also, introduce a procedure that if you have to go to the manual shuffle, you inform surveillance and ask them to monitor it. Some casino operators are very, very fearful of the false shuffle. And what they do is they put in these elongated shuffles that all they do is waste time. Don't do it. The reason why is the cheaters can get around most of today's traditional shuffles. Okay, surveillance guys, when the casino manager calls upstairs, tells you there's a problem with the whole percentage on Baccarat, what do you do? One of the first things you do is start looking at all the table game losses, specifically the tables that have been losing a lot of money, and go back and have a look at who's been shuffling on the games. Once you record that information, you may find a correlation between your losing table games and one specific dealer. If that's the case, you might have a problem with false shuffle. 